I like to think I'm a pretty active and pretty busy woman. Four and a half miles a day first thing in the morning. Wasn't well, that what retirement's about? They found that I had a severe aortic stenosis. Open heart would be a very brutal experience. I mean, it's what has to happen, but... And I knew that that would be an option for five and a half years. So when they started talking about other options, it was like, what? <laughs> There's other options besides open heart surgery. So then my cardiologist and Dr. Hibbard started talking about this other procedure. And I thought, oh, that sounds like maybe it would be a good fit. So we bring the patient in, we do local anesthesia with what we call MAC, with our cardiac anesthesiologist, and they run the sedation. And then we numb the patient up. In the Anis case, the deployment went very well. I think the entire procedure took, what, 38, 40 minutes? And she was out of the uh, awake and upstairs just a few minutes later. She goes home in several days, just a few, and we fully anticipate a very high level of improvement in her functional capacity, but more importantly, in her mortality. Back sound. All right there, so I think we're in great shape there. So she'll be able to do more, she'll be more comfortable, we'll prevent readmissions, and uh, she'll probably live longer. They the want to do what's right for their patients, and that is, Three. bottom line, that is wonderful. And the nursing staff there, oh, they were so devoted and very kind. It was a wonderful experience. You know, Leanna uh, was gung-ho. I mean, uh, we like that. I mean, we like that, by golly, I'm going to get this done, and I'm going to go home, and I'm going to be better, and and because uh, they do. And then to be able to give a gift like I've been given and be able to continue on and do the things that I want, those are the gifts in life that you really can't give anybody else, but it's been given to me. I'm grateful for it every day.